This is Noah Stricker. He became a follower of Jesus when he was about seven years old. He wants to be baptized because it's time. He's wanted to do this for a long while now, and I want to declare, or he wants to declare his faith in Jesus. He'd like to thank his parents, his brother, his grandparents, and mostly God. Good morning, Grace family. My name is Noah Stricker, and I'm blessed this morning to be able to share with you my experience with the open baptism service at Grace. I participated in the open baptism back in 2018, and I was in the midst of a lot of confusion in my, with my walk with the Lord. I wasn't really sure where I stood with God, and I was struggling in my personal relationship with Him. But the first church service that I came back to at Grace, after being away for some time at college, was the open baptism service. And Pastor Doug uh, invited anyone who felt like the Spirit was prompting them to get baptized, to be baptized. Um, at the time, I wasn't at a place where I would have said that I'm ready to get baptized. I was not really walking with the Lord. But that didn't stop His mercy and grace towards me. And so as I was sitting in those seats in the sanctuary, I felt the Holy Spirit just start tugging on my heart. I'd never been baptized, and um, I was raised in the church. I'd seen many, many people do it, yet for some reason I'd never taken that step for myself. But as I was in that service, the Spirit started to prompt me. Um, and so with a bit of an attitude, I walked um, back down the steps of the sanctuary and back out um, looking for someone I could talk to about getting baptized this morning. And so I met with one of the team members and they asked me, why do you want to get baptized? As they walked me through a series of questions on, um, you know, are you ready to be baptized? And my answer to their question, why I wanted to be baptized, was as simple as, it's time. And I didn't have the words to describe what was going on within me, but the Lord made it so clear that it was time to experience the, the physical baptism of the invisible reality of my union with Christ, that I've been buried and raised with Him. And so I walked through these questions and um, the team graciously said, okay, we're, we've got to change of clothes for you, hop in line, and you're gonna get baptized this morning. They asked me, you know, about my profession of faith, and right there in that moment, I declared in faith that I trust in Jesus Christ and I'm joined to Him. And so, they baptized me under that water, and all I can say is, when I went down, I was struggling, and I was lost. There was so much confusion within me, and I was dealing with depression and a lot of baggage. And then the Lord brought me up out of that water into my resurrection with Christ, and I experienced so much great joy. All I can describe it as a miracle of God took place. And <laughs> to this day, I have just been joyfully um, walking in faith with Christ through my salvation. And I look back to my baptism at that open baptism service of grace, and I can point to that as the moment where things actually changed in my life, where I began to experience the fullness of joy with Christ. And I just believe that as I obeyed the way that He wanted me to, um, He blessed me in return. And so I would encourage you this morning, if you feel the Spirit tugging on your heart to go get baptized, don't wait. Don't grieve Him and let the Spirit have His way in your life because I promise you, God will bless you far greater than anything you can imagine as a result of your obedience.